Bill Walsh didn't coach football, he coached life. Those words were echoed by the hundreds of family, friends, current and former players that packed the auditorium at Holy Spirit High School on Wednesday night to pay their respects to Walsh. Walsh passed away Friday at the age of 52 after a three-year battle with ALS. That's the beauty of it. I know some of you think it's all X's and O's and it's all T's and points. That wasn't him. That end zone was your goals. That's the goals you're going to see in life. That other team on the other side, those are distractions. Those are blocks, the inconvenience of blocks, which could be anything that life decides to just throw your way and wants to block your path to your goal. You have to figure a way out to push through that and continue on and get to that goal. Your team is your family. Walsh, a 1985 graduate, is part of a long list of former players who returned to coach the Spartans. He was an assistant coach for over 20 years, but most will remember his time as the head coach from 2003 to 2007. Walsh led the Spartans to the first 12-0 season in school history, which culminated with a non-public Group 3 state championship. Many credit Walsh's time as the head coach as a turning point for the football team, as the program was revitalized into a perennial power in South Jersey. The impact Walsh made stretched further than just the football field. During his time as head coach, Walsh established and served as the first director of institutional advancement at Holy Spirit. While Walsh stepped down following the 2007 season, he was never too far from the program. He returned as an assistant coach during Spirit's championship run in the 2010 season and again in 2015. Despite his illness forcing him away from the sideline last year, Walsh would still review game film and text coaches his notes. His devotion to Holy Spirit was unparalleled. Before the season, Holy Spirit retired Walsh's jersey at the annual flag football tournament established by Walsh's Warriors. A day before his passing, the school announced they would be honoring Coach Walsh with helmet decals with his number 16 adorned on every player's helmet for the rest of the season. Senior running back Elijah Gray has paid tribute to Walsh this season wearing cleats dedicated to the late coach. It's my senior year and just finishing a year and having him not on the sideline really hurt, but like might as well have him on my feet, having him help me guide my way to the end zone. Gray and Holy Spirit took that tribute a step further on Friday as Gray was allowed to change his number to number 16 for Holy Spirit's first round playoff game against St. Mary. True to the mantra of the late coach, Spirit found a way to adapt, adjust, and overcome as the Spartans advance to the non-public Group 2 semifinals. Holy Spirit hosts Hudson Catholic Friday night with a trip to the non-public Group 2 final on the line. From Absecon, I'm James Mooney for Jersey Sports Zone.